came out with this once again. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Hello, Timothy. Testing our American knowledge here for the special. The flag fell over, Timothy. Supposed to hold the flag with Firmly the Firmly grasp it in your hand. But it's your seventh time on the bird. Mm. So you gotta like kinda under your feather and play. <laughs> That's why you keep dropping it. Okay. We gotta assist you and bring it back up to your wing. <laughs> anyway, so uh very easy game. You just answer questions, you get two questions from each category. Geo, hiss, pop, spo, and gen. That was a joke. So you probably don't know what that means. I'm just going off by the, the, the card. It's actually geography, history, pop culture, sports in general. Uh, there actually is a variation they have on here if you want to play a faster version of the game. What, one of each one? The first person to answer one of each of the categories. Mm -hmm. Instead of two questions, one question of each category. So... Final 50% faster. I mean, only thing about that is, it's like, you'll end up, I mean, it, it could be faster, mm -hmm. but it could, at the same time, it could be even more challenging because if you both have all, if you, if you both have four questions mm -hmm. and you're all both stuck on the last question at the same time, mm -hmm. or whatever category it is. Mm -hmm. It adds a little more anxiety because all you have to do is just answer it one time mm -hmm. instead of, okay, I have a whole another five to, you know, the answer. Well, I mean, that know. could also that could also when you're both on number nine, you can also be stuck on nine. So true, true. I mean, it all depends uh, if you stay with the if you do one category, uh, one of each category, and then you go back through again with the second, you know, category, but. Uh, Oh, so, okay, so you're all, okay, so like that, the break, and then that, like, little mishap that happened on stream, yeah, right. That thing. Why are we poor, it doesn't say poor connection. I don't know, anyway, we have this, uh... Scorecard. I don't think of the term for it. In each uh, category, it has two boxes, and you just check off the one, uh, one of each or two of each, once you've got that category uh, covered. So I don't think we had that in the no. Christmas one. It was just we just say no other card trivia game gives it a so, little thing. That was. Uh, that's, that's an interesting little uh, addition to the game. Yeah. Kind of makes it more organized and cleaner of the table and everything. I still want to do that, though, because that, that was... I mean, obviously we could do that because, you know, but anyway, so... Yeah. But then there's all these other questions. You know. All right, category. Uh, that's going to take some to remember, to remember these things. Let's go with pop culture. Pop culture. Yeah. The easiest and funnest. General is is the easiest one. Suppose sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I just want to write in the, I want right in the middle for the pop culture on that one. What country pop oh that's like okay, the middle of the okay. One, two, okay, okay. What country pop artist won a Grammy Award for album of the year for her second album, Fearless? Fearless. Country pop, fearless. Country pop. Uh, what is her name? I could be way off, but I can't think. I got, I got a face in my mind, but I can't think of her name. Um. 
Mm-hmm. Kelly Clark- Clarkson? <laughs> How dare you? No. no. I didn't think it was that one. No. So. I had a little song break here because I'm over, over here singing You Belong With Me. <laughs> <laughs> One no answer here. A. Tay Tay. Taylor Swift. Oh, Taylor got over Swift. Here, he got me over here singing. Okay. Homan. You belong with me. Alright, category. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that pop culture. Pop culture? Alright. Mandalorian. Or DeLorean, I don't know. What album earned the Bee Gees a Grammy Award in 1978? Well, that's that's way back. When? 1978. Well, these are all music. Based on, music. yeah, based on music. For now, yeah. I'm sure there's more because there's a whole bunch of pop culture. But Oh, yeah. But for now, we got music. Stay alive. Stay alive. Okay, uh huh. That was like 1977, so that would be that following year. I mean, that comes that much is that decade. Because you'd be winning that next year. But that wasn't the, that's not the name. Freaking Stan Lawrence, though, is not the thing. I don't know about pop culture, but sorry, Bee Gees. I, I'm sorry. Please don't get mad at me. You can continue to stay alive. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hurt you that much. All right. Well. Staying alive, yeah. That's the, the song. That's the, the, the answer they're looking for. Is not staying alive. It's the album. Saturday Night Fever. There you go. Saturday Night Fever. Fever. Mm-hmm. Do I stick with pop culture, or do I go with a different category? Yeah, we'll just stick with pop culture. Who wrote My Girl, the hit song performed by The Temptations? <gasps> My Girl. Wait, okay, this is music. <laughs> My Girl. It's still got music. Talking about, it's not, it, they went away from like, oh, who wrote the My artist Girl? Went back. My Girl, talking about My Girl. My Girl. I got a shot. How about that? Oh man, who wrote that? I got the book for me. <laughs> I have no idea. No, girl. The Temptations sang it, but who wrote it? I don't remember who. Theo Bridger. Right, I don't remember who wrote it. Dang, when the cover is more popular than the original. <laughs> I probably know who it is, but on the top of my head, off the top of my head, I'm trying to think of it, I, I'm drawing a blank on it. Um, I don't know. Uh, the answer is my girl. My girl wrote the song My Girl. No. Smokey Robinson. Smokey Robinson. See, I knew who Smokey Robinson was. Smokey and the Bear. I just did not, could not think of the name that would write that. All right. Category. Pop. What song often performed by Harry Finkelstein? Harry Belafonte is known as the Deo song. I'm nervous because you can barely even pronounce that. So, um, the what? The The Deo song. The Deo, and then I don't even know, like, whoever that guy is. Um, yeah, um, question? So uh, what what do you even ask me here? What song, mm-hmm. often mm-hmm. performed by Harry Belafonte, mm-hmm. is known as the Deo song? My girl. <laughs> Rocking around the Christmas tree. Deo song, the day of. That sounds like the day of 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what the Dayo is, so there you go. <laughs> You're probably screaming at the TV right now. Dayo. Come on, man! <laughs> Should, am I supposed to know this? Yeah. Did you give up? Yeah. It's called the Banana Boat Song. Damn. What the? <sighs> the song. The Dayo song. Dayo. Dayo. Daylight, come back. We want to go home. I this question is like, it's something you know. <laughs> it's like, to. you know it, but it's like, what's the I, name of the song, actually? <laughs> I didn't make that connection, Banana Boat, to that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's something I know too. I wouldn't be as I wouldn't be as like like oh you know if I was like okay I didn't know it anyway so whatever. But dang okay. Uh, I stick with pop, uh, pop culture. This is not American trivia. This is pop culture trivia now. Right. What Oscar winning film tells the story of bomb disposable team during the Iraq War? Oh, we're getting movies now. Now we're into movies. Oscar. Bomb disposal team of the Iraqi War. the name of that movie uh, I don't remember the name of the movie I remember the movie but I don't remember the name of the movie it's probably something that I've seen too which is the craziest thing about it so it's another one of those questions where you know the thing what the answer is yeah so the pop culture is supposed to be like you know another category like general knowledge but it's more based on like movies and music yeah you know that you should know right off the top of your head or well, general just covers all categories of it, pop it, culture it makes me want to do like an actual just full pop culture trivia I want to do that like a movie trivia mm-hmm. oh what is the name of that movie It's probably got something like Operation something or other, but I can't think of it. Especially, I don't know how I'm going to do this, especially like with the, some history questions, of course, I can know like the general stuff, but. Yeah, I mean. Uh, like geography, though, it's like, how am I going to get two of those? I'll be lucky if I can get one of them. So, it, it all depends of how long and this is going to take. I, I don't know. To decide um, if we're going to two. Iraq, uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. That's the, that was the war, but I can't remember the name of the movie. Oh. And if we ever did this again, yeah, I am we, would, like we would know the, the answers. Movie. It's so. probably something like Iraqi. It's probably like, uh, it's probably like uh, Operation Freedom or Operation Kickback. Or I can't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. If we ever want to do this again, um, that's why we shouldn't be giving out the answers. Yeah, probably not. So, well, well, like we're really gonna remember it the next time you pull the box out, either. You know. Yeah, it's gonna be sad. <laughs> acting, acting like I was gonna come back to this anytime soon. Yeah. Exactly. But I don't know that that it might kick in from when you remember that. It could. All right. Operation's not even in the title. Oh, okay. See. What's your uh, category? Pop culture. Who created the television sitcom oh, for, oh. The Simpsons? Dave. <laughs> Dave. You of all people should know yeah, this. I should, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Out of all the Simpsons games. People, are, people who have watched Simpsons just scream the TV right now. I know that answer. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Beep yeah. Come on. Spoiler, the Simpsons are coming soon, by the way, as well. And we, wow. That's Don't! A slap. That is a slap in the face right there. <laughs> Dave. We're going to go with Dave. My Dave? Boy, Dave, yeah. Mm-hmm. Dave. Or Max, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Final answer? Or Dan Pobmeyer. <laughs> Ran- random doofus marks over here. Yeah, I guess. You were wrong. Mm-hmm. Is 
It was Sorry, buddy. It was Matt. Oh, his name's Buddy. Okay, cool. Nope. Who was it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? I'm curious. Okay. Matt Groening. Matt Groening. Sorry to you, buddy. Mm. Sorry, Matt. It's all right. There was one screaming my name right there. Yeah, that was people. I'm sure other people who knew that but by watching it, it, I'm just like, like episode, 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 but like you know this. Mm-hmm. But well, yeah, for those people that are just like have never watched Simpsons, it's too late now. It's too late. Oh yeah, they're like on what it, season like thirty now like or the 30s, something like man, that. It's too late. Same You're gonna like, have to like literally. You have to literally binge watch. Non stop. You'll be you'll be in there or you'll be in there for like ten ten years, something like that. You have to binge watch non stop just to catch up. Yeah. For thirty so, years. So you have to watch thirty years of content right there. Same as like Family Guy or SpongeBob, right? Yeah. It's this it's those movies or or t- television series that you notice that nobody in the movies or or not just any but characters, they never grow. Mm-hmm. They never age. No, let them age. They've been the same age for 30 years. <laughs> you would think after 30 years, there'd be something different about them. In 30 years, they're living They're living just a month. That's what it is. They're living a month. Right. It's flying by for us for 30 years, but for them, it's, it's like... A month. It's all in the same year. <laughs> yeah. One year, still. Mm-hmm. You know, they haven't really... Even though there's those couple episodes that do... Let well, they do grow. have those little flashes, yeah, where it's like... They're all older and everything, so they do kind of like, you know, give a hint of what they could look like, you know, if they actually grew them up a little bit and everything, but, um, And that was, that was a, like, that was a hint question to the Simpsons trivia as well. Yeah. A little, uh, is it coming? <laughs> yeah. We got a problem, you know, you're not the creator, we got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pop culture. Released in 1964. Ooh, wow. What was the first boys action figure in the world? Oh, come on. First come boys on. action figure? B- boys? What you what you mean by that? Anybody can play with... Well, I mean, I almost said it. Anybody can this play with G.I. Joe. That one's easy. Uh, I said G- That was an easy Did, one. Did I give away my saying G? No, I already knew what it was. G- <laughs> I already knew what it was. Yeah. So, pop. That's that off. Uh, there's, see, that's what I'm always saying when I... When I Cap out. I'll keep that card. My favorite category. Oops. Turn it over. Oh, Turn it over to the phone. Uh oh, the loop. Okay. Because that was my. That's always my favorite one to, to keep answering is the that certain category like I was doing in the Christmas one. Oh, I was yeah. only doing the movies. So uh, what's your category? Pop culture. Pop culture. Something All right. Like what television show began with the words space? The final. Frontier. It's not just a show itself, though. Space. The Frontier. Twilight Zone. <laughs> just immediately thinks of Twilight Zone. We're going to go with that. That's not it, but I just thought about that, so I just said it. No, that's wrong. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, mm-hmm. continuing its voyage to boldly go where no man has gone before. I always said that deep phrase deep. at the very beginning of every it's, single episode. It sounds like a National See, Geographic. I would have gotten that really uh, fast. A National Geographic over here. <laughs> I would have gotten that really fast. Star Trek. Mm-hmm. So was better. Trekkies out there, you would have got that really right, right off that, especially when Kirk, uh, Captain Kirk was when I was saying it. And they went from Kirk to, uh, then they brought it back with uh, Patrick Stewart. And when he, when he was seeing it in The Next Generation. But anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with pop culture. Why not? Somebody's got to break it. Who's <laughs> album, the, the Impacination of Miami, was the top selling album of 2005. The what? The. Emancipation of Mimi. Mimi. 
M I M I. Mimi, Mimi, M I M I. Mimi, Mimi. Mimi. Emancipation. Proclamation. Proclamation is what I got, but that's not what they're asking, is it? Uh, I have no idea. I don't. I mean, that I don't know. Um, where's my white flag? Cause I have no idea. I give Truce. up on that one. Truce. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is you. Oh. Okay. You know. Pop. Pop. Who produced artwork? Oh, you're already reading off the pop. Okay. Yeah. Before I even said it. Oh, you you you, you said pop, and I said pop. Mm -hmm. No, after you said that. So, who produced artwork for the cover of the Saturday night? Sorry. Sorry for night. the cover of Saturday evening Aww. post magazine from 1916 to 1969. This is pop culture. This is pop this culture. This is history. This is a long time ago. <laughs> How are you how are you in love? It's nineteen sixteen over here. Uh anybody from back then? George, you know them? That sounds like no, no, you were still dead. You were still dead. You you were dead. Uh hey no, you you know, you you were definitely dead. Um Man, this, see, this now, sucks when they don't even know who You it is. will probably recognize the name, but I don't think you would be able to put the name with the question that, that they're asking. Does George Washington so. know him over here? Mm. Does he? Do you? No, okay, fine. Don't hold me. Give me that shrug shoulder. Yeah, I don't know. E e well, let's, what's, a what's a 1916 name? Agar. Agar. Mm-hmm. You sure I'm going to know this name? You got, do I know who this is? All right, so you, you'll probably recognize the name, mm -hmm. but you may not put them with the question that they're asking. Uh, as far as how you recognize and all that stuff. Because this person's m known more than for just this. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you didn't get it right. Mm. It's not Agar. No, sorry. Try Norman. Try Norman? Are you like telling me like try the name Norman or like that's his name Try Norman? No, his name is Norman. Norman. Norman Rockwell. Osborne. Rockwell. Oh, it's a little thing, Rockwell. See, mm. I knew you would recognize the name, but it, I didn't think you'd be you'd be able to piece it with the question they were asking. So pop mm. culture. What color was added to M&M candies in 1995? I thought they were all added. I thought they were always a thing. I didn't know they added other stuff. Yeah, they kind of changed it up every now and again. Mm -hmm. um, I hate added. I hate M&Ms. Changed your changed your shoes. Bring back the green M&M shoes. Bring back our heels. Nobody wants sneakers. Um. Added. The color. I don't remember those commercials. And then Back in 95. Yeah. I remember the 95 commercials. Yeah. In 95, I would have been 10. So. Whoa, so you were sitting in front of it anyway. Sitting in front of the TV. So you should know this. I know. You should, this. You should know this. Anyway. I should know this. This answer to the, the, answer to the question. Cause I'm trying what, to think. Wouldn't you get excited over a new m m color? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> He's like, oh, Mom, there's a new m m color. Am I thinking of it, or am I overthinking this? Come on, there's only like six colors you can choose from. I know that, but... Who's been around since I the I can see them introducing like two or three different colors. It's an issue. It'd be brilliant. What color was added? Added in 95. And on that television thing about the Simpsons, I when I was, what who invented the... I, was, I thought it was going to be tele, telephone... So I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to get this one, the Alexander Graham Bell. And then it was television. So I was like, okay, who invented the television? And then you read the whole question. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go with, see, 
Here's a toss-up. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's this color or if it's another color. I've got two colors in my head that it could be. I'm just going to go with my, my gut here. I'm going to go with blue. Yeah, blue. Whoo! I thought car something would happen. Okay, there goes the other. Blue is hard to get in your bag sometimes. Blue. That and brown. Even though don't they all taste the same? People go, oh, I like the I like the red. I think it was the best or the green. I was like, don't they all taste the same? They're all chocolate. Yellow's better. They're not. They're not Skittles. They're not Skittles. <laughs> they all taste the same. Yellow's be better. <laughs> okay. Yellow is milk. The, the peanut inside. That's why I'm saying mm -hmm. that. <laughs> All right. Oh, the dumb one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Santa? Oh, uh, Santa? They do exist. It does exist. Best commercial ever. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for that movie. <laughs> Every time you go to the theaters, you see that poster teeth. Or, <laughs> or this is an epic movie. Oh, boy, this is just a commercial. <laughs> still waiting for the Eminem movie. Yeah. When, when the Eminem when movie finally comes out, we're going to be old and gray. It. Nobody's <laughs> going to believe it. They're going to be like, oh, okay, this is a commercial. It's not happening. And then it says coming soon. Like, what? Is this for real? <laughs> just Completely out of blue. Just kidding. It's another commercial. Dark. <laughs> 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 All right. What is your category? Hmm. All right. We're going to oh, get this pop culture down. Second one. Oh, okay. We're going to get this pop culture down. Pop culture. All right. What song? Did you even think of boring? Oh, back to the songs. What song did Bob Dylan wonder how many times can a man turn his head pretending he just doesn't see? Don't worry. Be happy. Dude, I haven't heard that song forever. I'm going to listen to that song right now. Don't worry. Be happy. Just one. Yeah, don't worry. Be happy. I don't know. I'm just waiting for that. that, that that's question. the wrong answer. I'm, I'm waiting sorry. For that. I'm waiting for that. That's the wrong answer. I'm waiting for that good question to come to me. I need some amendment questions. I like kind of know the amendment. I know my rights now. <laughs> Gotta know them nowadays. <laughs> um. Let's go with sports. <gasps> you broke it. I can't do pop culture anymore. I, mean, I got just two already. Just don't get it right. What nickname was given to the pitcher Mordecai Brown? That's bad luck. Oh, what the? Whoa. Wait a minute. What is it? Whoa. you never done that in like, the history of ever. What's going on there, Light? That was weird. You've never done that in the past year. What's going on? You giving out? That was weird. You dozing off on us? Uh, buddy? I don't know. <laughs> Mordecai Brown. So it's kind of like a trick question. Yeah. Mordecai Three Finger Brown. Three Finger Brown. See? See, I knew it had something to do with the, the, the name of the... Like, something to do with baseball. But I couldn't think of the, what they would throw in there. All right. Category? Because it's still with baseball. Pop culture. Who is the highest grossing movie star of the 20th century? That was a long time ago. Changed by then. Highest grossing movie star. Okay, I know like... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Tom Cruise is up there. Uh, Johnny Depp's up there. Um, but we're talking about 100 decades ago. A hundred years ago, twenty century. We're like, what? We're like in the twenty first century, right? Correct. We're in the twenty first century. A century is a hundred years. Yeah, that's what I said. A hundred years ago. But uh, them to them, it's yeah. With them, this. Was <laughs> wrong? Uh, no. So we're talking about years. Ago? This is the, we're not talking about hundred years. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it's not hundred years, just whatever up to that point. This could this this could have been made when it was still the twentieth. It could have been like one year before the twenty first. Okay, well, what you mean, man? We're in the twenty first. Hmm. Hmm. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I 
Highest growing grossing movie star. Movie star. Of the 20th century. There's Ben Stiller's up there. <sighs> There's a lot of gross ones. Mm-hmm. You give up? Jack Nicholson, he, he's retired now. Yeah, whom, whom. Whom? Whom. Um, you got some of his movies sitting over there. Harrison Ford? Yeah. Uh, oh, what the heck? <laughs> like you should know that! I got the movie! You got his movies! Uh, <laughs> I'm actually with Harrison Ford. I just go over here. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I was what? naming... There's a too many. There's, that's why I was naming all the ones that are like high grossing. Yeah, There's a lot, but the, I guess he... Because he had Indiana Jones and Star Wars and, you know, a lot that he played in in that time frame. You know, The Patriot, The Fugitive, uh, all that, mm. you know. He, he, those movies were... High money make. High money make. Yeah, with him being in his roles like that, yeah, they... they uh, yeah. You can hear the music. Oh, he's going to get this one. Anyway. I'm going to stick with sports, I guess. Sports. Probably won't get any of these unless it's something going to be like, you know, random that I know. What baseball Hall of Famer was nicknamed the Georgia Peach? Georgia Peach. Georgia Peach. Ah. Uh. Hall of Famer nicknamed the Georgia Peach. That car just hit me in the side or something. The side of my head. The Georgia Peach. It sounds familiar. Does it now? Mm hmm. Hall of Famer? I don't think the person I'm thinking of is a Hall of Famer. Harry Tub. Harriet Tub. Um, it's probably going to be somebody that's a little bit older than him. Uh, I don't know. Is he dead? I don't know. I don't give up on that one. Corner McCobb. Ty Corner McCobb. Huh? Ty Corner McCobb. Yeah. See, I, I, Ty Corner McCobb. Are you dead? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that one. I was thinking of somebody else. Are you dead? Is he dead? Is, is it not even he? Oh, not 261. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, here's an older one. I was thinking he was older than what I was thinking. Okay, what's your category? Okay, well, pop culture is... Uh, I kind of want to stay with it. I still want to get it right, but... Huh. Man, what if that's even harder? Stay with it till you get it right. Wow. Well, I kind of want to go with history, though. History? Yeah. All right. What car was introduced by the Ford Motor Company <gasps> in 1908? Is it? Is this? Oh, is this like the very first one? It's that wagon one. <laughs> Henry Ford over here. Why can't you just tell me the name? Why can't I just say the name? Because I could say Henry Ford and then got the question. <laughs> Henry Ford, come on, speak to me, talk to me. The wagon. That black one. Mm -hmm. No, that was the very first one. Pass. Wagon one. That's what I get for leaving the phone. What we got? Timothy, are you, are, are you like ashamed right now? You know all these questions. I'm a very wise eagle. Ashamed of this. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's hard to keep my beat shut. I could just squawk out the answer. Just blur it all out. <laughs> squawk. Now I can hear that game. Now. <laughs> I can hear him miss him now. <laughs> the squawk.
street, the streets of pain from this head. <laughs> All the memories. Oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, get out of my head now. Like, my head's pretty loud now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I'm just seeing everything now from the game. Flashing through. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Puh. Okay, anyway. Um, Return of the Easter special to know what we're talking about. <laughs> That'll tie everything together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's stick with sports, I guess. Three drivers won the Indianapolis 500 four times each during the 20th century. Name one of them. So why are we in the 20th century? Three drivers each won the Indianapolis 500 three times? Yeah. Name one of them. Dale Earnhardt. Times. Probably. Oh, that's like three different things you can do. Yeah, okay, cool. No, he's not on the list. Dang it. <gasps> that's probably older than that, then. 20th century? Yeah. There's like many names over yeah. here. Yeah. We're gonna, I don't see we're going to be here a while. We're going to be here a while. You might. Get comfortable. Grab some popcorn, guys. Which, which category? Pop culture. Who played Louis Del Palma oh, in the television series Taxi? I heard of that. Maybe I don't know. Paul Rudd. You probably recognize the name of the TV series, but you probably don't recognize the name of the character to the actor who played him. I don't know how I just did that. I just said Paul, and then I tried to like make up the name, and it turns out I just it, it was the actual <laughs> person out there. Okay. Not Teen Wolf, but 61. Who played Louis De Palma in the television series Taxi? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Pass. All right. <sighs> what we got? Sports. Why well, you give me a pop culture that I can actually do? <laughs> Dang. What NFL team moved into Soldier Field in 1971? Oh, now we're getting like right there. Now we're getting relevant. NFL team moved into Soldier Field in 1971. 1971. Soldier Field. That sounds like. Field, San Francisco 49ers? <laughs> Dang it! It's probably the other one I was thinking of. Pop I, I was kind of like, what's that one? Huh? What's that one? Getting the Broncos. No. Mm. Alright, pop culture? Yeah. What news magazine was the setting of, a, of the CBS sitcom Murphy Brown? Let's talk with the magazine. Murphy Brown. The TV show. James Brown. <sighs> cleaning, cleaning company. So, you name of the magazine, not the company. <laughs> There's something to do with the cleaning thing. I don't know. Um, USA Today, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You don't know. That's my day. That was in my day. Mm. Watching Murphy Brown. Murphy Brown coming up. Murphy Brown coming up. Stop, stop, wait. That was a commercial for it. Yeah. Anyway, sports. Oh, is that what the general... I'm going to general then. Dang, well, I wanted that one. If you're going to throw freaking Green Mile at me, dang him. Okay, sports. What basketball legend was uh, born Ferdinand Lewis... Acolyndary. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, basketball legend. You got that bar up. Yeah. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Jabbar. Oh. Jabba? Okay. Or Jabbar. Yeah. Kareem Rrr. Jabbar Abdul. Yeah. I would have thought about it. I... Kobe. You would have. All right. right. You didn't think about it? You just spat something out? Check. 
Shaq is a nice man. I want to meet Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal. Dr. O'Neal, sorry. Dr. What is your um, category? General. General? Yes. <gasps> for great, you go online, go to the general, and save some time. All right, better save me some what time. What is the most visited zoo Damn, in dude. the United States? Why'd you do that to me? You went from doing the books to this now. I, I trusted you. You were the chosen one, General. <laughs> Boo at the zoo. Knoxville Zoo. The most visited zoo? Mm -hmm. Knoxville Zoo. Mm -hmm. Or Zoo Knoxville now, as it's called. Oh, they changed it? Yes. How zoo Knoxville now. <laughs> Sounded better the other way. I know. Zoo Knoxville Zoo. <laughs> That's, what, that's A lot of the zoos have put zoo in front of their city name now. It's stupid. Zoo Knoxville. That don't even make sense. That's not even grammarly correct. It's the Knoxville. Well, we're, going, we're going to a zoo. It's not a zoo where? The Knoxville Zoo. It's a zoo in Knoxville, not Zoo Knoxville. <laughs> Hurry on, Zoo Knoxville. What? You're talking about the zoo in Knoxville? Knoxville Zoo? Yeah, Knoxville Zoo. <laughs> yeah, you probably won't get that. Board game and you and me. It's not you and me board game. <laughs> Zoos across all 50 states. Well, I'll come back to board gaming, you and me. <laughs> yes, yes, welcome back. Board gaming, you and me. <laughs> That's what it is now. Sorry. Sports. What boxer was nicknamed the Minnesota Mauler? Minnesota Mauler? Yeah. No. Man, Man NASA. Man NASA Mauler. Man NASA Mauler. Um, I don't know. That one, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know very many boxers. I only only know a few, and I don't think any of them that I'm got on my head is been known by any of that by that name. So I don't know. Patrick Dempsey, Jack Dempsey. <laughs> Anyways, category. No, that was the, that was the that was the answer, Jack Dempsey. General, uh, General. They didn't save me no time at all. I'm getting these wrong too. What endangered member of the cat family can be found in Texas and Arizona? Arizona sunshine. I don't know, a bobcat. Lion. Endangered cat species. Black panther. Uh, conquer whatever. Dan endangered cat cheetah. All those are in Africa. <laughs> now I got like the the rug the rug rug rats thing. Yeah, the gotta get some flowers. I don't know endangered. I don't know where's like the, where's like the general general stuff like like that book one. Um. Bobcat. Bobcat. No. It's right. not, it's not well, Bobcat. Might as well go down and have an answer at least. At least have a shot at it. Sports, please. Oh my god. Pop culture one that I know. Oh, why are you telling me? Why is it on the cards? On? <laughs> scooby doo scooby doos Dang. Hurt me like that way. What major league has the most members inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame? Of uh, basketball hall of fame, I'm gonna go with the um, Chicago Bolts. Cheater, he's looking at the card. Or is that, huh? different? Or is that a different one? No, it's a different one. Oh. What is what is your category? Nobody's streaming in trivia, so I'll go to trivia. Nobody can find us. General. General. What city is home to the boardwalk made famous by the game of 
Monopoly. <gasps> Did you say Monopoly? <laughs> Alright, let's read that again. What city is Frank. home to the boardwalk made famous by the game of Monopoly? You mean, you mean, you mean boardwalk? Boardwalk Avenue? Boardwalk Avenue. That's like in like San Francisco. That's like in Florida. Tennessee Avenue, I don't know. Uncle Pennybags over here just <coughs> sliding in view. <laughs> and then he's getting swatted out because you got the question wrong. Like, oh. <laughs> One that you should know, and you just messed it, messed it up. Completely missed the target on that one. <laughs> Man, I just imagine it. It's like, you, it's like you pull back the bow and arrow, and then you sneeze. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over I here. just imagine <laughs> him. him Uncle Pennybag sitting in front of the TV. Everybody's around. They're like, oh, he's watching me on a game show right now. I was like, that's that's my nephew. And then I get around. I was like, oh, I don't know. Just like a dog and everything. Like, um, excuse me, what? Sports, please. Who won four gold medals and won the swimming team in the 2016 Summer Olympics in Radio Jerio? I disappointed my Uncle Pennybag. That's my nephew. That's my nephew. Oh, what is his name? What is his name? He was so proud of me, too. Oh, what is his name? I got his face in my, in my mind. Why are we even saying he? You got to must be thinking something else. Is it he? You know why I don't remember? Because it's not a dude. I said women's swimming team. Oh, I didn't hear you say You know what? Nowadays, it doesn't even matter, you know. It doesn't matter if it's women's. Uh, never mind. What is your yeah, category? Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Um, uh, that's true, though. Yeah, um, pop culture. Pop culture. Name two of the three judges in the first season... Of American so, okay. Idol. Damn. <gasps> the very first season, two of them? Just two out of three. Shannon. 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 <laughs> American Idol. <laughs> Who the heck is Shannon? <laughs> you don't know Shannon? Wrong show, okay. Our viewers are screaming at the screen, oh, saying, come I on! Had, I had, um, whatchamacallit, got talent, yeah. No, I ain't thinking about that. That's the one with, you know, they walk in, they're like, I'm going to be the next American, uh, yeah, right? So now you got me confused now. That's where they walk into that room, you know. Very first season. Yeah, like Simon and all that, he was on there. Okay, that's one. Yeah. You got one. You got. You got to name one more. And then that funny guy, Lenny. The funny guy. He's funny. Funny guy. Yeah. What's your last name? Osborne. I guess your name's not Shannon. Shannon. I'm telling you, Shannon. Nope. You're getting your shows mixed up when you when you bring her up. That's she, Sharon Osborne. Yeah, her. She was in the very first season of America's Got Talent. Okay, right. Um, we're we're talking on? about the um, we're talking about American Idol. Mm -hmm. I was saying you got your shows mixed up.
Simon Cowell it was one of the first judges on on there. You, you got him right. Yeah, and there's that guy on the left with the glasses. Him. That guy. Okay, well, I guess I'll give it to you because you you know who they are. You just can't think. Of and then that guy, and then then that really funny old guy on the yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have. I'll give you the card, and you can look at their names because you've basically got it. So. Randy Jackson. Yeah, I knew you who. Randy. Knew, yeah. I knew you knew who he was. That's why I gave it to you. Randy. Him. He's got the glasses, but boy, he knows who he is at this point. Randy. Yeah. What's up, dog? Yeah. <laughs> Paula, Paula Abdul. All right. Paula Abdul. Yeah, she was there. Go ahead. Mark it off here on the pop culture, right? Yep. Paula Abdul. All right. So now go. She's the what? She's the what? Singer, dancer, star, and her prime. Oh, I don't know what that album popped oh. back up in this one. This one, too. Sports. Carl Lewis won gold medals in what event at four consecutive Summer Olympics? Gymnastics? Do you have to name the years? Because it says the years down here, too. <laughs> oh. Okay. What's your category? Pop culture. All right. What was Disney's most profitable profitable animated movie of the 20th century? Uh, Toy Story. Oh, duh, that's big. Toy Story for big. 20th century. Disney's. Okay, not Pixar. Disney's. Um... Disney. So get rid of Pixar. Cars, get out of here. Bugs Life, get out of here. Get out of here. Incredibles, uh, uh, get out of here. You're not Pixar. Get back in here. But still, get out of here. Um, Lion King. The Lion King? Yeah. Why you over here? Why you over here? Like, because I was start, I was getting get ready to start the hummer. It's like I kind of want on to it. I can't. No, it's not. What's the? No, can you say the word? Can you see the light? Oh, there's my pop culture. Wow, two in a row. Yeah, you got two in a row. You might be in a, 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 a tear here. All right, go ahead. Here's my big Grab chance. My big break. Sports. That is a lie. So technically, someone did. Anyway, what city hosts the annual Gator Bowl? Gator Bowl. Gator Bowl. Like the like the. <sighs> the Gator Bowl is usually played in Gainesville, Florida. The Who's Gator, the, the the Florida Gator Stadium. Louisville. Huh? Jacksonville. Oh, Jacksonville. Okay, well. Jackson, Mississippi. All right, what's your General. category now? General. General. Told you the answer one time. What is the most popular breed of dog in the United States? Golden Retriever. I think it's Retriever. I'm going with a Retriever. Golden Retriever. I'm going with German Shepherd. German Shepherd. No, no. Get out of here. Go back to France. <laughs> Go back to France. I don't know why you're eating my mind. The faces he makes every time he says a different dog breed is hilarious. <laughs> but just had a camera angle on his face when he says these dog faces. Dog breeds. <laughs> yeah, we need one of those like more interactions. You can actually see what the thinking process is. It's so funny. <laughs> Not a poo. Go back to France. <laughs> like poo? No, go back to France. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a German Shepherd or uh, freaking yeah. I lost it. Retriever or a Beagle. There's too many of them. 
Maybe it's a big, a wiener dog. Uh, German Shepherd. Pug. Pitbull. Dance. I don't know. I don't know. Every, time, every time I try to say something, more keep popping in. Oh, oh he fell asleep. He fell asleep. Oh, no. German Shepherd. No, no. Golden Retriever, final answer. Golden Retriever? Yep. You're already giving it to me already because it's... Close enough. Close enough. What do you mean close, close enough? enough? What do you mean close enough? Not, uh, close enough. Labrador Retriever. Labrador Retriever. Labrador. Which is in the same okay. family. That's why I say close enough. It's still a retriever. Yeah, it's still a retriever. <laughs> yeah, no. They're like, it's got to be a retriever. And I'm like, oh gosh, here we go. He's going to start going down to different retriever names. Oh. Oh, yeah. then, then he goes to Poodle and the German Shepherd. And I'm yeah. like, gosh, he had me. He said, Rot Ryler, Cocker Spaniel. Who's the next? <laughs> Labradoodle. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that actually works eventually. If I just tie random things together, I eventually get to it. Like, remember that one time it worked in one of those? I don't ones? know how you pulled that off. I went. <laughs> I, went I was like. What like, I, you know, the animated cartoons where the tongue just rolls out and the eyeballs pop out. Like, yeah. how did you pull that off? Yeah. Ah, I went, you know. What was the answer? KFC? You yeah. Know, all, those, all these different stuff. I, I tied it together somehow. I did, I don't know. It was Thanksgiving, I think. I did KFC, so I, I didn't know the answer. I just randomly said it. Oh, just we broke down everything. Yeah, you did. The, it was the it was the Thanksgiving. I got to go back and watch that. I, that I don't was know. a funny one. That Jack like, Sparrow oh, got in it one time. I don't know how. They tied down. I kept going, this goes to this, this goes to that. KFC. <laughs> bucket. It's so it's something about a bucket. Yeah. It, the, the question was bucket. So I tied it all together. I went, oh, bucket, KFC. You eventually got it down to how. KFC. I don't know how. But that's a power of mine. If I tie random yeah. things together, I can get to it. I did that twice. All right. Uh, go, with, go with sports again. What Boston Celtics legend was born in French Lick, Indiana? Oh, shoot. Boston Celtics? I don't know him. Boston Celtics, legend. Well, apparently, everybody's a legend now. Uh, Charles Barkley. Larry Chirp, Chirp, Chirp. Larry Bird. Dang Larry it! Bird. <laughs> I should have known that. He's on my. He was. He was one of the favorites that I watched on TV. Bird, Bird, Bird. Larry Bird. What's your <laughs> category? General and more in general. This is probably only two different answers. What was SS SNL Prez Cresige renamed I in 1977? I don't know what SS Cresige is. SS Presiege. Cresige. So it's Cresige, so it's Presiege. It was the SS Cresige. Yeah. Renamed. They can rename in 1977. Well, what if they just changed an S? So it's just SLC now. I don't know. Something not related to SS Creech. That's what I want to guess right there. Did it work? Well, here. I'm, I'm going to give you a little bone. Creech. Creech is spelled with a K. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't get that. So it's SSK. I mean, that, that helped. I mean, I was just like, oh, I was just like, oh okay. No, 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 no. SSK. S S K L M J K. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, pre siege, pre pre siege. That's really siege, not pre siege. Yeah, pre siege. No, you don't know it. I mean, they still did rename it to something that has nothing to do with that. So technically, in a way, I'm not. The fact that I told you that it started with a K mm-hmm. was it a hint. Oh, because they also, the first letter's now K now? Okay, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it, I don't get it. What team did Vince Lamborghini coach to two upper bowl victories? Oh, Green Bay Packers. Okay. It's Vince Lombardi. Sports. Finally got a One sport. up on sports. Woohoo! How was that even close? I want, you know, I know, I want to know now. How was that K even close? What's your category? What? You never gonna tell me? General. General? 
What Pharrell Williams song was best selling single of 2014? Who? Pharrell Williams. Who was Pharrell Williams? Oh my gosh. I like 2017, but I don't know who you are. 2014. 2014. Feeling good. Cheerleader. <laughs> you're pretty close. With Wait, those, with those two guesses, real? you're pretty Wait, close. Wait, for real? Just by saying feeling good? Uh-huh. Feeling good is up by who again? <laughs> Farrell Williams. Cheerleader is close enough to that. Damn. Mm. Okay, work that magic. Tie some stuff together. Okay, so feeling good. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how those are played. Feel good cheerleader. Because something has... So feeling good... And cheerleader is in the title of that song. So if we do cheer, Fair Williams, Will Ferrell. I don't know. Cheerleader, final answer. He didn't even write that song. Yeah, no. Well, how was that close? I want to know this stuff because you're like that one saying that those were close and then the Crescige was a big hint. Like I want to know these past two things. <laughs> that was a big hint. Well, that how? was a big hint. Say it. There's a thousand. There's like a thousands of thousands of questions. S.S. On here. Creed. We'll never. We'll never get back. S.S. Creed was a name of a store. Okay, how was that hint? And the fact that I told you that Creed was started with a K was a big hint. Trademark. Yes. See? <laughs> oh, I got it. All, all I you got it. Oh, a little late there. Well, I mean, because you should have said store. Then I would have said, okay, Kmart. Mm -hmm. It didn't say store. It just said the, question, the question didn't even mention store. Exactly. So I'm like, what the heck? How are you like, supposed to know? Exactly. I, I've always known it as Kmart. I thought it was always Kmart. Rest apparently, in peace, apparently, when it first opened up, there was a, a different name to it, and then it changed to what we know now, SSK. which is now in rest in peace. Rest in peace, in the past. The giant white bulb guy, the, the the blue light special guy. Blue light special. Make him a pop, will you? Hmm? Pop figure. No, make him a pop. Make pop him figure. a pop. Make him a pop figure. The Kmart guy in memory. Love the you. Kmart blue light special guy. Make him a pop figure. Not to be confused with the blue man dude. Anyway, <laughs> sports in 1947. Ooh, we, 1947. Okay. we were in the 1960s. We didn't go all the way back to 47. Jackie Robinson became the first black player in the major leagues. What team did he play for? Oh, oh there are none of the teams around. Chicago. Right now. Oh. Chicago's not even established. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it is. I don't know. Probably got it wrong. I'm just guessing mm -hmm. at a team that was... Oh, it could have been... It could have been... Uh... Mm. What team is that? Hold on. <laughs> Yankees. Could have been the Yankees. Well, that's pretty old, but no. <laughs> no. What's your category? General. General? Yeah. All right. What are people from Michigan called? Michigan. Michiganians? Yeah. Michiganders or Michelonians? Ooh, that, I mean, I feel like there's a third one, but that first one sounds nice. Do it again. Michiganians. I've always called them that. Michiganders or Michelonians? I feel like all these can be right. All these can be right. <laughs> it's, it's whatever you want to do. Trick question. They're all right. Uh, third one. Michelonians. But I, I've always called them the first one. Michelonians. So if I go with my gut, <laughs> so if I go with my gut and just say, "Do what you always called them," Michigonians. That makes sense. Like you know, ten, 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 Tex, Texans. Like you know, t people from Texas. And like Tennesseans. The, the Tennesseans. See, Mich, 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 Michigans, Michigonians, Michigonians. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, whatever. Which one is it? Which one are you going to stick with? You 
got to have a definite answer here. That third one. That third one. But that first one, I've always said, mm, it makes sense to call it first because Tennessee's first one. You know, I feel like third one. The first one, first one. Michi- Michiganians. Mm-hmm. That is wrong. It is third. It is third. It is third. It is the third one. How dare you psychologically Sports. trick me by saying, are you sure about that? What golfer is nicknamed the Golden Bear? Golden Bear? Golfer? Nickname? Mm. Uh, what? <laughs> is. Go ahead and say all the other words, man. I had that narrowed down to trying to think. If I had that narrowed down to the first and second one, or the first and third one, what the heck? Three days. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll pick up Cardinal. Uh, I'm just going to pass on that. I got the Kmart, but what about the cheerleader and feel good? How was that connected to that guy? <laughs> uh, it's the opposite of sad. Feeling mad, feeling sad, feeling glad. Opposite of sad, happy, feeling happy. Happy. You mean, you mean happy? Happy. You mean like, you mean that that overplayed song? Yeah. Uh, uh, We're talking about the guy who always sings songs with big giant hats on his head. Because I'm happy that. Yeah. Oh, I should have known. You should have known that one. Oh, I forgot his name. It didn't sound familiar. Farrell Williams. All right. What's your what's your uh, like the Bruce Mars looking dude. <laughs> General. General, what state is home to the great growing regions of Applegate Valley, Rogue Valley, and Wilmette Valley? That's too many valleys for me. Too many valleys. Valleys. The the uh, the the alpaca movie down there. Himalaya valleys. They're like somewhere in Europe. So Europe. What did it say? <laughs> Which state? Oh, that helped a lot. Is no, home to the great growing regions of Applegate Valley, Apple. Rogue Valley, and Wilmette Valley. Williamette Valley. Williamette. <laughs> Texas. They don't even have valleys up there. Um, valleys. 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 Come on, I got like 50 options here. I got this. <laughs> Narrow them down to one, Zach. One out of 50. <laughs> uh, Texas is out. <laughs> Texas is dumb. 49, okay. Tennessee, get out of here. 48, okay, okay. Uh, uh, Arizona, get out of here. 47. We're going to be here a while. Put put up the, the SpongeBob transition. <laughs> like three hours of late tail. <laughs> uh, get out. Final answer. Uh, I was late out. <laughs> yeah, still on it. One eternity late out. One eternity. Still got like 15 states left. Um, New York. Nah. nah. Get out of here. <laughs> so I still got like this half and all a bunch of this down here left. Florida, get out of here. You're beaches. You're not valleys. Uh. <coughs> Colorado and Wyoming look alike. So Wyoming, Wyoming, D D Washington D.C. D.C. State. I don't know. We're Washington gonna be here. State. We're gonna be here a while. Yeah, Washington State or Colorado or Wyoming. That's my three answers up there. Is it somewhere up here? You're you're in the right direction. So it is somewhere up here. It, it is somewhere over there. Yes. So near Colorado. Colorado. Well, still, that's about 10 of them over there. Uh, yep. That, I mean, not you can narrow years. down the, the which region it's in, but now you got to figure out which state it is. I don't know all the states over there. There's Wyoming. The very top is like, I don't know, Kansas. We're not in Kansas. That's Kansas. Missouri. What way up here? Oh, I'm sorry. Kansas, Missouri is on the other side of Tennessee. You're oh. not going to get that far from. So you got to go a little further west. <laughs> so I'm not up here anymore. It's over here. 
No, you're back in that corner over there. You, you, you named Missouri, which is over here. Mm-hmm. You need to keep going west, oh, is what okay, I'm saying. Go back over here. Yeah, uh, go back mm-hmm. over there. Kansas is Midwest. You want to go west. Go west, young man. Young man's west. That's a song. West, young man. I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. All right, well, I'm just going to put this card right over here, unless you can answer the question. Yeah, he doesn't know. Michigan. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's not over there. No. Michigan's north. Oh. All right. Sports, please. Which Unless I got sports already. No. I got one more sport. Okay. Which NHL team won the Stanley Cup in 2005? NHL team won the Stanley Cup in 2005. I'm going to go with uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Lightning. They didn't even play that year. Dang it. They didn't even play that year. All right. General. General. And say some time. In 1993, Bill Clinton Mm. signed the NAFTA agreement. What does NAFTA stand for? N A F T A. Naft. Uh. Something politician. N. 1993. N. What was big in 93? It starts with an N. <laughs> NASCAR. Oh my gosh. A. Bill Clinton was a president now. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. So something like presidential, and that started with an N. Nintendo. <laughs> One of the presidents had like a Nintendo thing in the background of this thing. Gosh. A was for um, Sweet Home Alabama. Nintendo, Alabama, F. Yeah, F. Yeah, NAFTA. 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 Nintendo, Alabama. Company. Who was NFL's leading touchdown score or soccer during the 20th century? Why is it all 20th century? Because it's the last century stuff. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Stick with this century. I am. I don't know. I'm not big of. I'm not a big soccer fan, so I don't know. Um. I only know a couple of soccer teams. Sorry, I thought in my head, and I don't know. No, nothing. Fans. I'm not. A, I'm not a. I don't watch sports. I watch sports, but I just don't watch soccer, as we know American soccer. You know. American soccer. All right. What's your? What is your? Um, soccer. American football is what we call. It. What's my category? Yeah. General. General. Am I gonna know it? You might get this. Yeah. What is the yeah. official state food of Texas? Hey, I just mentioned Texas. Burritos. Oh, okay. It's a cheese one. Chili. Ooh. Steak. Ooh. What? Barbecue sauce. What do you, what do you mean food? You just said food and barbecue it's sauce. Steak. I know. They threw in barbecue sauce. True question. That's a sauce. Texas Roadhouse has steaks. Okay, so if it's not steak, I'm blowing the roof off in this place. No, that's expensive. <laughs> um, and it's a lie, because it's a lie, okay? If it's not steaks, Texas Roadhouse is a lie, and I've been living a lie this whole time. It's shaped like an armadillo. Armadillo eats steaks. Steaks. Or barbecue sauce. I mean, that's still kind of like the same thing. Steaks. Steaks. Sorry. Hey, Goo. What's up? Texas Roadhouse phone number.
Are you seriously calling a Texas Roadhouse <laughs> to see if they know Texas State <laughs> food? <laughs> You're they, crazy. They should know their own thing. You're not going to get it from them. They, they, they're from here, not here from there. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Drew. Call Texas Roadhouse? Texas Roadhouse is calling. <laughs> you son of a... It's not burritos. So my second guess is barbecue. No, not barbecue. So what it was burritos, barbecue, steaks? Or chili. Or chili. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See, see here, here's, here's where I was going. I was like, okay, chili, yeah, easy. But then I was like, okay, wait, Texas Roadhouse has steaks. So then I jumped on steaks, so I completely forgot about chili, even though that was my gut feeling. Like it punched me. So I was like, no, nah, Texas Roadhouse has steaks, not chili. Now, they probably eat all of those as far as... With their food and everything, but the one they eat the most is what they're asking. The state food. Yeah, the, the, one, the one that they all... What was it my gut feeling? What? What was it my gut feeling? Chili? Yeah. You should have almost a gut feeling. Dang! <laughs> so it is real. Gut feeling is real. Yes. Like right when I say chili, I went, ugh. But then I heard t- steak, I'm like, Texas Roadhouse. The fatty inside me. You weren't thinking over. the restaurant. You weren't <laughs> thinking of the Texan. I was, I was so convinced Texan because saying, of Texas Roadhouse. Saying, Chili. Chili. And you're like, Texas Roadhouse. It's like, no, no. <laughs> Sports. We don't even have chili. In 1908, Jack Johnson became the first African American to accomplish what feat? Okay, not everybody can be the first now. Hold up now. Not everybody can be the first to do something. Then they wouldn't be the first to do something. They already had the first African American to do something on the other cars. I don't know. That was er- that's really early for me, so I don't know. What, in, in 1908? <laughs> sure, it's early for everybody watching this. I, 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 I'm, like, I mean, I, I don't remember that. I don't recognize the name. If you're wrong, 1908, and you're watching this video, you're going to... I don't remember the name is what I'm saying. Like, I have to study it more for that. Jamming it. Yeah. What, All right. Um. What name? I didn't even say the, name. The... The person who you're talking about in the question. Okay, so what's your question? Your um um category. How many just justices are there in the Supreme Court of the United States? Don't you study his name? How many justices? Like oh, like you mean like Supreme Court and all that? Uh huh. Like a. So, what I ask the question is how many justices? You mean like. The Are court? there in the Supreme Court of the United States? You mean like the Supreme Court, the other court, the uh, like the other court. There's like three of them. Wait, there's like the Supreme Court, and then like the other court. Oh, I forgot what they're called. It's been a while since I took government. Not really. How many justices are there in yeah. the Supreme Court of the United it's States? A, it's been a while. Justices. Checks and balances? One. Three. Three. One to three. I don't know. Fifty? I don't know. Justice for Johnny Depp? That's all justice we should be doing right now. <sighs> Obviously didn't learn that in school, did you? Probably. Just, you know, it's not what was taken right now. Yeah, I didn't learn that part. I said three. That's how many courts, little court things. There's Supreme Court. How many? 50. Justices is another word for judge. Oh, there's only one judge. That's what I said. No. Oh, that's the line of judges! Yes. Oh, man, that's like the one judge in that seat, the, the huge line of judges. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like seven. The Supreme Court justices. Yeah, how many makes up? Make, how many makes up? Yeah, Supreme Court, duh. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's called the Supreme Court, because you have all the judges yeah. sitting in front of you. How many, like, yeah, like how many make up? There's like one of the, like, 160, 140 right there. Yeah, okay. Was it 140, 160? No. <laughs> that was, that was the, who, the party members, including the end zones. How long is the NFL regulation football play? 140 feet. 
I thought, I was, okay. When I heard that hundred, I was like, oh. I know it's over a hundred feet because. I, I, I was like, oh crap, that gives us four squishy. Fifty. Oh, it might be a hundred and fifty feet. Well, it could be less than that. Next. I don't have to. I have to think about that longer. Bro, we seriously about to get like an All hour right. and a half on this thing. This might be. We could. We could probably complete a game of Monopoly before we complete this. <laughs> I'm calling it here soon. Category. General. You're sticking with general. Wait, that last one was general too? The Supreme Court one? Uh huh. Wow. Okay. Gen- what is an anhinga? Listen, I thought I thought general means like everybody should know this. What the, what's an anhinga? <laughs> That's is, what I'm asking you. This is uh, well, What is an anhinga? Why are you asking me? I don't know. <laughs> this is supposed to be I don't know what for, I don't know this is supposed to be what everybody knows. You know general? In general is like how many like how many ducks cross the road or like what color's a pig? Like that's general. Who was the first it's president? It's probably a scientific name for something. Uh, which is really which is you know, I, I know the answer and it's like really easy for me, I but and an Hinga. I don't know and the scientific it's like his pig, it's big. And Hinga, that sounds like a panda. I don't know. And Hinga. Maybe a maybe a, a kangaroo. I'm mean, panda is around there. I'm gonna say panda. That sounds like a panda. Panda. You're so cute. Vicious. Never mind. They're not cute. They're vicious. They are cute though. They're vicious though. So shut up. Panda. Or somewhere related to a panda. I feel like I know this. I feel. It's like I'm digging digging into like fifth grade when I seen a poster on the wall, and it and it had all the names, the scientific names, of the animals. Oh, this is weird right now. I think I'm traveling back in time. You know, it's like that's so Raven where she gets like the portal. I was thinking the same thing right then. What? That, well, that's what's going on right now. Like I'm traveling back to then. Yeah. Uh, man, I haven't, I haven't thought about that costume in like forever. How? What? This is weird. It's like VR right now. The posters on the wall. It had a pa- it, it showed a picture of a panda. It had the name next to it. It had a picture of a grizzly bear. It had the name next to it. What's that? I think a- panda. 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 Panda? Am I close? Something related to a panda. Panda? Panda. Everybody was close to fighting. Panda? Close enough. It's wrong. Oh, close enough. Anyway. It is an animal, but it's not a panda. <laughs> panda is an animal. Anyway, well, that was, that was weird. I got to travel to fifth grade, apparently. So. That was weird. By what, by what name was basketball c- coach Arnold Achenbach better known? Coach Archie? I don't know. Archie, you know what? It was called Archie. Mm. Arkenbach. 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 You could have called him Archie. Alright. Go with, uh. Go with. Go with General? Jim. Jim Z. Alright. Where can one read Emma Lazarus Sonnet? The name Colossus. What? Uh, that's a whole bunch of jimbo jimbo jumbo. I don't even know what the, a single word in there is. It's supposed to be general. This ain't general at all. What's the deal? General knowledge. Where can one read Emma Lazarus Sonnet, the ne- the new Colossus? That's what it's called? Where can mm-hmm. one read? Where can one read it? Yep. Oh, okay. That sounds like They're that. asking for a location. That sounds like a Rome. That sounds like Greece. Somewhere in like Rome, Greece, around there. That sounds Roman. Roman. The new Colossus. Greece, Greece. Colossus. Yeah, like Colosseum. Yeah, Leaning Tower of Pisa. All that. Italy. 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 It just popped out. Italy. Dang. Colosseum's in Italy, right? Yep. Huh? Colosseum in Italy. It's Italian. I'm telling you, it's either gro- Rome. Colosseum is in Rome. Rome. But- See, I said Rome, Greece, Italy. You're, you're no, no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Temple of Doom. Bro. That sounds like that. That that's from that's from Indiana Jones right there. That's where you can read that. During what decade was the first Super Bowl played? 
decade. Gosh. We got one way back. We're going way back? Talk about the 1700s. Yeah. What the heck? It's been around that long? No. 17, 1800s? It's been 1800s? around 300 years. No. We ain't that way back. Not that way back? Okay. 300 years. They were playing the Super Bowl for 300 years. No, Super Bowl. Yeah, they're only on the like 90, yeah. It's like almost 100 years now. Yeah, so yeah. what'd you say? 18? I don't know why I said 17. 17. I don't know why I said we're that. The, I wasn't thinking clearly. We're almost 100. Obviously. We're almost 100 Super Bowl. Okay, ball. what is the... Um, you're going with General? Yeah. All right. 300 years. You might get this one. Oh, yeah, you said it like the last one. Whose gravestone inscription reads, oh, Free at last... Free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Everybody would say that, right? That sounds like a... That sounds like a... That sounds like a... Somebody was executed. How, how am I going to get this? Like, I'm, I should know the name or something? God Almighty. Hmm. Was he a founding father? Benjamin Franklin. Robin Williams, he was like trapped in a bottle. Played Junior. I don't know. Moving on. Who was it? If I know if I should might know this. Abraham Lincoln. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty, I am free at last. Did I mention this particular person has a holiday set aside for him. Oh dang, it was Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Dang for real. Yes. Wow. Martin Luther King Jr. My next would have been uh there you go. 1702, sailed the ocean blue. Christopher Columbus. Columbus, yeah. Columbus Day, yeah. No, but it's, it's... He said that in one of his speeches, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Oh, so it was only fitting for him to have that saying. He has said more to that, but that's the main part of the saying that he said that stuck with, that stuck with everybody. Well, I'm a dream. Hi, I'm a dream. That's probably, that's probably it for me. That's all I'm going. That's all I'm doing. I'm not getting nothing else. I barely even t- took me hard enough to get those four right. Uh, what university is home to the Fighting Irish? Fighting Irish. That is Purdue University. Notre Dame. No, it's Notre Dame. I knew it was one of those crazy ones that named like that. Yeah. The, the general over here. What, co- see, what the heck? See, why can't you give me these? With stuff that's actually general. Like, what, what, what color is an adult bald eagle's beak? <laughs> we got one in the set. I'll get it. What if I still got it wrong? I'm like, oh no, white. Oh, there was we one, one next. The there was one down on the bottom that I was like, oh my gosh, that's an easy one. It was in general, too. Mm, when I How many I herbs see. and spices? Mm-hmm. In KFC. How many herbs and spices? What's the question? Are in KFC. What about KFC? How many herbs and spices are in the recipe? The, the generals, uh, the colonels, fried chicken recipe. We'll never know. And that was the question. I know the answer, but I'm just saying I, yeah. that was the question. I'm like, oh my god, this is easy. <sighs> this made me love. All right, so you're going with what category now? Was that when I like switched to a different one? Yes, you can switch to a different one now. No, was that like that herbs one? Because I, because I would have got it if I, because I kept guessing general all the time. You could have gotten it. Well, then how did I not get a- answered that then? Because you didn't ask for it in that time. You were you, you asked for uh, it was a card. Uh, when I went to the you were like either it was a general, but I think you were asking for pop at that time. So no, that was a long time ago. Though. Yeah, so you could have got one that was easier for you if it was still on general. Yeah, because we're still working on general. History. History? Yeah. Amendment 3, something like that. Who was the first president to appear on television? Well, it ain't any YouTube. <laughs> Gotta be, it's obviously someone in the 60s. Oh, man. Um, that narrows it down. 60s spelled in caps. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We don't even know what freaking George up here sound like. Um, so, 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 
1960s, we have we have we have John F. Kennedy. We have dude with the glasses. Well, I don't know his name. One that got shot but survived, right? He had something in his pocket that stopped him. He was standing up in the car. That guy. Um, Bush. Clinton. Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Do I know this guy? Do I know this guy? You should know your presidents, yes. Mm -hmm. Especially the ones in the 60s. Maybe. A few of them. You're the one that put 60s in there. What do you mean? There's no date on the question. I know, but like television. Huh. Huh. Uh, I'm tired. 50s. Um, yeah, yeah, frick it. Frick it. I don't know. JFK. No. Because even before that was who? Who's the guy with glasses that was standing up, waving to everybody, and he got shot? Who's that guy? Make, make me look this up. <laughs> make me look, I, yeah, I thought you were help. Who, me? Yeah, I thought you, you asked me? Yeah. I mean, you answered, the, you, you answered your own question. No, I didn't. I don't even know his name. <laughs> so I had to answer my own question. President. President that was shot. Ha ha. While well, giving. Yeah. He there was giving a speech. several different presidents that got shot. Yeah, but not like giving a speech. Or standing up in his car. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Dude with glasses. That guy right there. Teddy Roosevelt. True trooper right there. Not him either. Not him either. Nope. No. That's the thing about our presidents. We had two Roosevelt's that were presidents. Teddy. Okay. That's the thing about presidents. Teddy Roosevelt. Just like we had two Bushes that were presidents. George W. Bush and George George Bush and George W. Bush. But we had two presidents that were Roosevelt's as well. Teddy Roosevelt and Arthur Roosevelt. Who? Roosevelt Roosevelt or yeah. That's the most the most popular one over Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, sure. Are we ever going to get another Biden? <laughs> Don't give us another Biden. Yeah, say it like a goat. Biden. You just got more right than, than I do right now. For so. real? That's a thing? Wow. Yeah. I've only got three right. You've got four right. So. Probably won't get in on some call it. Uh, Teddy and uh, other Roosevelt. Yeah. It, it came to me and then I lost it. I'll, it'll come up. I'll just be at the end of the game, the last question, and be like, oh yeah. What NFL, F N F N F L R? That's weird. That's hard to say. Was nicknamed the Minister of Defense. Franklin! Franklin! Found it, everybody! Franklin! Franklin! <laughs> Franklin! Franklin! The e. Roosevelt and Teddy Roosevelt. There you go. <laughs> it's like I was seeing the, the nickname on that card. Just... Aquaman! Oh! Aquaman. Okay, history, history, history. How do you, how do you get history? What first lady was nicknamed the Steel Magnolia? What was this one? Not this king was general. Okay. The Steel Magnolia. What first lady? What first lady? 
was nicknamed the Steel Magnolia. Kennedy's lady. Kennedy. Kennedy. No. Okay. Not Kennedy. No. George Washington's lady. Nope. Okay. No, no. Off you go. This box makes it look easy. Showing the dude on the moon. The, the Riddler over there. We're going through all these cards. Man, what if we go through all the cards? I thought by now we would have had all of them answered, but we're just like going through them like it's nothing. Did we seriously go through all these? That's the one we've gone through, yeah. We went through all these. Yeah? And these are the ones we're going through. Okay, yeah. I think it's half and half now. I think the, we split the, the deck. The deck is basically split. Split in half. We got, we got, okay, we're going to go through all those cards and we just don't just go, okay, we're done here. One NFL team won its first Super Bowl in 2018 defending the New England Patriots. Defending the New England Patriots. Our first Cincinnati Bengals. No. Oh, man, he, he's mad, man. <laughs> the Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles. No, he over here. Oh, the, okay. Oh, okay. 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 I was trying to think of the ones that were, that were in that one, and I, I completely glossed over the name. Glossed. I knew what it was, and I just didn't think of it. Long, long and hard enough. Okay, history again? No. I do know. Jay Gold made his first fortune in what industry? The mining. Because his name's Gold. Get it? <laughs> Mining industry. Clothing industry. What time frame is this? Sounds very old. Well, it is history. Oh, so it's in the past. <laughs> history. It is history, so it's a long time ago. Could be yesterday, though. Could be a question from yesterday. Who would have thought history was old? Yeah, I don't know. World War stuff? I don't know. Mm. Mining. Aw, he didn't go in the mining industry? Well, come on, your name's Dole and you didn't do it? You didn't go in the mining industry? What the hell? Dolden. That industry he went into. Man, that's sad. Oh, come on. I just mentioned JFK. In 1997, what 21 year old became the youngest golfer to win the Masters Tournament? 97? Oh, he should have went into the mining industry. Uh, missed opportunity. 97. I don't know. Tiger Woods? Dang, dude. Most, the most famous golfer. Sports. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? I want to know. Well, Tiger Woods is one of the best golfers out there. Yeah, he is. Sports history. Jordan. Alongside Phil Mickelson. <laughs> Bill Murray. <laughs> In that one movie. I'm not saying he's not a... I'm not saying he's not a golfer... But he's not known for golfing. You put it that Donald way. Donald Trump. In what play did Arthur Miller dramatize the Salem witch trials in 1962? Say it again. In what play did Arthur Miller dramatize the Salem witch trials in 1962? Or 1692, excuse me. Oh, dang. Even way back. Even a little further back. I'm sorry. You know, what do you mean even a little? We went from 19 to 16. 1692. I have my numbers mixed up. Three I'm sorry. Years later. In what play Arthur Miller dramatized the Salem Witch Trials of 1692? Phantom of the Opera. Stop the space shooter. Shake up the sphere. No. Oh. Shakespeare was like awesome, though. He created like everything. Okay. Yeah. Cor 
quarterback, Brett Fayard, played for four different NFL teams. Name two of the teams. Okay, can't just name one. Be too easy. Two of the teams that he played with? Mm-hmm. You already got sports, didn't you? Ah. Uh, just take it anyway, I already said it. Yeah, I've already got sports. Uh, I'll just, since you answered it, I will, I mean, I asked it, I'll just go ahead and. He played the longest with. Um, Green Bay Packers. Vaguely remember, I could be wrong about this, but I vaguely remember him playing for the Bears, Chicago Bears. So I've been wrong. Okay. <laughs> You've been wrong? So I was wrong. I <laughs> Green Bay, though. Green Bay, I need that, but the other ones I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I want to try to get one history question by the end of this. All right. Who was the first Roman Catholic president in U.S. history? Roman Catholic. I don't know. Okay, listen. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. If if I don't, if, if I'm gonna say history, and if I don't know that, then I'm gonna go a different category. They'd be like, you're gonna say, I'm gonna say, do you think I know it? And if you know, I'm gonna do a different. Uh, Roman Catholic president in history. John Adams. Second president. No, John Quincy Adams. No, wait. Quincy Adams, then John Quincy Adams. There we go. Third president. Mm-hmm. John F. Kennedy. Final answer? For real? Yeah. Wait, for real? I just mentioned the guy. He popped back in my head. For real? John F. Kennedy? Red side. Ooh, the green side. Who played Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean series? Gee, I wonder. Uh, Phil Mickelson. Um... Lance Archer. Uh. <laughs> well, I, well, I want to go to the blue side now. I never thought I would be saying that. John F. Kennedy. Wow. That would hurt if I didn't say that and I just mentioned this. I did it. God, I got history. I got the history. Yeah, I did it. What if I look at what do you want now? I'm going to trade off sports again. What do they think I'm to? Uh, general. You didn't get general. Since I don't have general yet. You got one. Developed by Boeing, what type of plane was the B-24 Super Fortress? Boeing. <laughs> Boeing. It's Boeing, actually. Okay. All right, so if you, so if you, so if you know the, that word, then you should know this answer then, huh? It was a fighter, a fighter jet. Sure, why not? What type of plane was the B twenty nine Super Fortress? Fighter? No, oh, not a fighter jet. Uh, sure, there's a fighter. Um, mm. Not to be right. Commercialized flight. Airbus. What is the term for it? B twenty nine. I don't remember the name of the. I don't remember the term for it. Airbus called Airbus because they're like really big and then set down from that is a commercial airliner then there is like the cargo planes so which is it dang it I'm not going with the cargo airplane I don't know yeah I can't think of the, the, the actual name on that. So, Alright. So, what's your next category? Uh, 
take on geography, uh, history. Because I am an adjustable. All right. Who the following was not an outlaw? Oh, crap. You mean like Wild Wild West? Billy the Kid. Oh, okay. All right. It is Wild West. Buffalo Bill. Okay. Or know. Jesse James. Wait a minute now. I, I thought, oh, man. Who was not an outlaw? What's wrong with you, man? All right, all right, Alcatraz, Alcatraz, come on, channel in here. Outlaw, bang bang, bull bull again. Come on, I complete my history. Outlaw equals bad guy. Yeah, yeah, do it again. Billy the Kid, bad guy. Buffalo Bill, Jesse James, just like Jesse James. Buffalo Bill. Final answer. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> that was kind of more of an easier one on the on the on the on the Richter scale on the history of lesson questions. Known them like it heard of them. Yeah. It's the name Buffalo Bill. It's just it's not an outlaw name, not at all. Jesse James. But when you put them with Jesse James and Billy the Kid, Jesse then you're Buffalo. like, wait a minute. You know, it kind of puts you back for a second, and then you're like, okay, we gotta digest this for some. I mean, Billy Kid, you know? that sounds like pretty fun, you know, but if you're as not as like famous, and then that's like a very famous one. With so Jesse James, that's why for that sure, was out. a bad guy. Billy the Kid was a bad guy, but the name, it could throw you, you know, so. Billy Kid, and if you didn't know the, the legacy and history of it. Right, exactly. Wild West. How was it living in the Wild West? Torture? Hot? <laughs> Michael Jordan. Now what we got? General. What Ivy League school is located in Massachusetts? Uh, Duke. Kaboom. What Ivy League? Duke's an Ivy League? No. I'm, never, I'm not going to get sports, so we're going to be. I'm not going to get sports. Uh, Ivy League are, are just like... They're called Ivy League, but it's like four different schools. Four or five. Whoa! Okay, that hasn't done that like the history of ever. I don't know why that's doing that now. I don't know either. I don't know what the deal is on that. It might be a safety thing if it's getting hot. But it's but it just it's been on for like longer than that and never has like eight hours of monopoly. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Like, like, I don't know if it's now. if the if it's starting to wear out because we've got we've had that same one for a while for a long time. So, all right. I'm you go with uh, which category are you going with? I'm now? never going with sports. It's not. I don't know a single one of them that I called out to you. Well, maybe one. Uh, geography. Which state was named after the king of France? Hey, I mentioned France before. Why are you doing this? Do so frequently too. Stay on. King of France. Oh, it's that that's that big dude. King Henry the third. Remember that that like that portrait guy? That famous portrait? Moving on. Moving on. Guy with all the wives. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Donald's. Is it the plug hot? Yeah. It could just be short circuiting itself. Mm. Where it's so hot that it turns itself off. Or something. I don't know. Do it one more time. You won't do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. That hurt. Look in there, right? Which state was named after the King of France? I don't know. King Henry. State. Oh. Now ask for the king. Oh. Which state? Which state well, was yeah, named after the King of France? So, like, the state's got to be in his name, right? Here we go. 50 more. 50 options. King Michigan. That doesn't sound good. King... King, uh, King, King Texas, nah, King, King, uh, King, 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 Europe, King, Europe, no, state, state, King, 
King, uh, King New York, King DC, King, uh, ooh, I like that, King DC, I do one. Um, <laughs> King, uh, Washington, King Washington, that sounds like a good one, yeah, you laugh, you laugh for some reason, um, Washington, that sounds like a real king name, King Arizona, no. King Colorado. Colorado. Go. Is it not Washington? Go. Come on, what is it then? How about Louisiana? King Louisiana? What? King Louisiana. King Papa. You might as well call him King Papa. Louisiana. That Louisiana? It's not Louisiana. 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 His name out. was King Just Louis. Not. Louisiana. The monkey? Not the monkey, King Louis. Come on! Anyway, you get your card. Louisiana sun coming up tonight. On the river. Or in general. King Louis. What 840 acre park is located on Manhattan Island? Oh, that's in Friends. Coney Island? Coney. Yeah. Oh. King Louie. Alright. Bear necessities. I forgot which one he sung. He, he sung. He said, uh, geography. Geography. What city in Wyoming hosts the annual Frontier Days Rodeo? What state? What city in Wyoming? Host the annual oh, Frontier Days Rodeo. Wyoming City, I don't know. Frontier Day? Dallas. Go to Dallas, Wyoming. That's what I'm going to say. I don't know any cities in Wyoming. So, if I don't know any cities in there, how am I going to use them? Then? Okay. I'll just I might put it down. down. I could if I try to run this stuff together. You can already do that, though. Um, what did 11-year-old Frank Epperson accidentally vent one night after leaving a spoon in a glass of lemonade? What? Accidentally vent? Mm-hmm. With a spoon in a glass of lemonade? I don't even make that. I don't know. How do you vent a popsicle? What, it freeze or something? Oh, you probably froze it. Yeah. So he was like, hey, wait a minute. Huh. That's an idea right there. Which state is home to the largest mangrove swamps in the United States? Trek. What state? Which state? Is no. Trek has swamps. Is home to the largest mangrove swamps in the United States. Uh, whatever, dude. I don't know no swamps. I don't know no swamps or nothing. Get it? What are you doing to me, swamp? <sighs> Should I know this or something? Well, I mean, there's not very many states that have swamps in them. Uh-huh. And there's not that many. I don't know. <sighs> Anything could be. So you can have a swamp in the backyard. So really anything. Are we talking like an official swamp then? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's no really official swamp as long as it has like grass growing out of it and mud. Especially mud. What did, what did uh, Shrek take place in? Far, far away. What state? What's far, far What state is far, far away then? <sighs> <sighs> oh, is it somewhere over here? Down here? Over here? Up here? <laughs> Colorado around there? No. Wyoming? No. Okay, I don't know. Nowhere around there? Florida? Like, around there? Wait, for real? I don't know if Florida has states. I was saying like, you know, I was saying like Florida. Florida is a state. I didn't know Florida had swamps. Swamps? Yeah. It's all swamp. No, it isn't. Yes, it Plus is. Plus, I was saying, is it around Florida? That was my answer, but okay, cool. Florida's all swamp. Doesn't look like you can get geography. 
what, what that's that's a trivia right there. What what question did Deucin accidentally get in the American trivia game? <laughs> General. No, I got it. Florida. What are the students at West Point known as? Cadets, general issues, or officers? That makes sense. What are the students what? Students at West Point known as. West Point known as. Mm-hmm. And what were the three choices? Cadet, general issues, or officers? Cadets. Oh, it's not, it's not cadets? Call them officers. You respect the students. We the people. West Point is a, a military school. Mm-hmm. So they're all cadets. Geography. I'm stopping at geography. I'm getting sports. Name point. the five states with shoreline along the Gulf of Mexico. <gasps> I know that! Okay, oh, Gulf of Mexico. Okay, what's around Mexico? We got we got freaking uh, freaking Texas. New Mexico. Hmm. Tennessee. New Jersey. Do you know where the Gulf of Mexico is located? Yeah, in Mexico. Like around it. And you're naming Tennessee and, and New like Jersey? It, it goes through a whole bunch of stuff. Texas. Okay. Um. I can pop four more. I like that. Yeah. Alabama. Can I like half point? Getting Texas, you've got one point for Texas oh. already. All right, so that counts. Um, what the fuck? Um, I was just getting tired of holding it up so long. I put it down for a second. Yeah, I'll give it recharge. Just a little stamina. <laughs> Thumbs got stamina. <laughs> recharge. <laughs> Colorado. North Atlanta. Arizona. Arizona. It's around Texas. Nevada. Come on, Nevada's like right next to t- Texas. Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. I'm talking about the Atlantic Ocean, not the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, right next to Texas. We're going to be here all night. I mean, we already are, so I'm just getting all over the place. I just want to check it off just for getting that one. Five states with shoreline along the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, Texas. That means each of these states have a beach along the Gulf of Mexico. Texas beach. Shoreline. North Carolina. No. South Carolina. No. Nevada. California. California. You're not thinking, are you? You're just guessing at this point. I mean, it's stuff that's around there. North Carolina is nowhere near the Gulf of Mexico. It could be. Take North Carolina and push it somewhere else. Gulf of Mexico. Uh, Mexico has got to be within the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, that's just common sense. Mexico, come on now. Mexico is not the Gulf of Mexico. We're talking about states here, not countries. Mexico is a state. New Mexico. No. New Mexico. That's the Atlantic Ocean. It's still a state, though. It's still a state. Yes, but we're not. We're not. We're along the shoreline of the Gulf of Mexico. Louisiana. Okay. There's <laughs> two out of five. All right. That's like half credit right there. That's like half point. So, I gotta like check off like, that's like 2.5 out of 5. So, if I just check out like half the box, and all I need to do is get another half of another question. Or I get it all right so I can have one and a half. Uh, Louisiana. Texas. 
Illinois? No. Hmm. Illinois is not near the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, friggin' Illinois is. No, it's not. What, what was the one I just said, then? You said Louisiana yeah. and Texas. Illinois is north of us. Hmm. We're talking about the Gulf of Mexico, which is south of us. Got two. Man, you giving up? No. I ain't a quitter. Okay. You should have known that. Well, that's like a two point five out of five. Wait a minute! I should have done the other three. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah. That's an easy one for me. Mm. If I would have had that, I would have gotten it. Because you seen it? <laughs> no, I already know it's along with short lines around the Gulf of Mexico. Mm. It's an easy one. General? Yep. Whose portrait appears on the 100 up? George Washington. Oh, okay. Put it back. Ah, I got the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. $100. $100 bill. See, you threw it and you said it at the same time. Because I was like 100 No. Yeah, see, he's in the dollar bill. George Washington is well, not he, he saw it on you. Like, Sorry. What you doing? All right. This is what is the capital of the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico? Not even going to try. U.S. capital? Or Puerto Rico? U.S. territory of Puerto Rico. So it's not even the capital? No, it's not even a state. It's a territory. West Virginia. West Virginia. Was that in the Gulf of Mexico? Virginia. No. Virginia? West Virginia is northeast of us. Virginia? I told you south of us. Oh. I gave you a huge clue. And West I said Virginia, south of us. Mountain mama. Take me home. Country road. Come on. Just one more geo. The great photographer Andrew Carnage. Made his fortune in what industry? Man, in what industry? Why can't he do it based off their name? Uh. Why did I change? But he was a philanthropist. So, he was an ar artist? Archaeologist? Alan Grant? So you're doing one. They got dinosaurs. Turkey. 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 I don't know. I don't know. Um, for a long time, philanthropist. But what industry did he get into? He could be like completely, completely off from what he is. I don't know. So does steel have anything to do ah. with it? What? Ooh, yeah. Steel with a philanthropist. I guess depending on what, what he what he wanted to do, I guess he was good. He good. It's a philanthropist and steel. All right. Lopez Island, Orcas Orcas. Island, and Walden Island all belong to what archipelago? Give me a different question. You're not kidding me. Yeah, that one's even harder. Even harder than the Gulf of Mexico. That one is another San Juan ally, Islands thing. What is so. another? We mean another one. I got one like that before. The white pine is most commonly found in the region of the United States. Northeast. Northwest. Southeast. Southwest. I got four options. A, B, C, or D. Four options. Finally. So one that I can actually get right even if I don't know it. The this white pine the is most commonly found in what region of the United States? Northeast, Northwest, 
Southeast, Southwest. Is it a North? Please, is it a North? It is a North. Oh, okay, what's the two Norths? Northeast, Northwest. I can't believe I got near down to the Norths. The other two are South. Mm -hmm. Northeast is what you said. That was the second one, right? East. Northwest was the second one. I thought you said West. Northwest was the second one. Northeast was the first one. East sounds better. White Pine. W equals West. W equals West. Get this win. Oh, what also starts with the W? Win. That's three W's. White. West win. But I'm going to go with Northeast. <gasps> Yay! I'm done. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I am can't get a sports one. Give me, give me one. I'll try a sports one. Give me one. I'm not going to get it. It's the basketball ones. I don't know. What well, Philadelphia Warriors scored 100 points in one game against the New York Knicks. What what team? No. Player. Oh, okay. LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in that same decade. What 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 player? You may recognize the name, but I, I don't know. Larry Bird. Oh, uh, I mean, you, you talk about Philadelphia Warrior team, a mm -hmm. uh, uh, person who scored one hundred points in one game against the New York Knicks. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you right now. Wilt Chamberlain. Nope. Well, you might answer. I, I, I recognize Chamberlain. I don't remember the first name, though. Mike. Mike Chamberlain. Well, I'm done here. Founded in 1865, MIT is one of the America's leading research universities. What does MIT stand for? So you didn't even know the dude's first name? Wilt. W-I-L-T. Wilt is his first name. Yeah, you didn't recognize his first Chamberlain, name. I remember, but Wilt. I probably remember that from a different. I remember, think I, I could remember Chamberlain from something else too. So, um, American singers don't want to go for what does word. MIT stand for? Yeah. MIT Safety Fly M O U S E. Uh, hey. MIT C K E Y M O U S E. Technical Institute of Technology. Uh, Minnesota Institute of Technology, MIT. Dang, if only it was Massachusetts. Ah, Massachusetts. I knew it was a city with the and it stayed with an M. I was trying to figure out. I knew it was Institute of Technology, but I couldn't figure out which M it went to. Massachusetts, Minnesota. Second gym. Yeah. Oh. No, I got four other categories. Two other categories. How do I like? How do I just like blast ahead? Just how what I do, bounce back. Okay, which state presents the most produces the most cheese? Gee, what do I say that is? Um, this kind of stuff. For real though. <laughs> <laughs> who first or who first broke the gender barrier in NASCAR racing in nineteen forty nine? Gender barrier. That one that races the Mountain Dew car. Oh, so wait, she's new. Okay. 1949. And you know the Mountain Dew car racer there? Yes, I know who you're talking about, but I don't remember her name. I remember her. Got a picture of her car. It's probably not even a car. It's probably a, probably a replica. Mountain Dew lady racer. Elderly lady? No, I don't want to see. Elderly ra lady racer. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Wait, do they even race? Is that even a thing? Whatever. I don't want to know. A uh, Mountain Dew Lady Racer. What's her name? She ain't popping up. She did the Mountain Dew car. Maybe she was Mandela. 
Like he was somebody else at the book. I remember she had like brunette hair. She's hot. Um, Ginger Bear, 1949. That sounds like that woman that got on a bus in protest and then got arrested. Weird. Police first broke from Ginger Bear in NASCAR. Racing sport. In 1949. So it's technically it's a sport. Not really, but I guess it is. Harriet Tubman. She didn't want to baseball no more. No. No. I'm done. <laughs> we're, we're about to go through the whole deck. How many are left? We could sit here and go through the whole deck. If I don't get... If I don't get the sports questions within the rest of the deck, it's done. <sighs> we had gin, right? Yeah. yeah, we're still in general. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm never going to get bored. What city in Ohio is known as the rubber capital of the United States? City in Ohio is known as the rubber capital of the United States? Cincinnati? Ohio? Cincinnati, Ohio? No. Akron. But San Francisco Giants out there became the first black player to na be the named captain of a major league baseball team. The first Francisco Street. What? Black Superman? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I'll just stretch my arms out. Oh, I thought it was a hint. Where San Francisco Giants outfielder fielder became the first black player to be named captain of a major league baseball team. Definitely not outfielder. It's fielder. Harriet Tubman. Well, you, you really don't know. Okay. Why wouldn't I? Which state grows the majority of America's wild berries? Wild berries? Georgia? No! I don't know. I'm coming like, oh, I'm stupid. Just hit me. Yeah. <laughs> Just hit me. Me. Which state is nicknamed the Keystone State? Keystone. Florida. No. Florida Keys? No. Good guess, though. What? It makes sense. Keystone, Keith, Florida Keys. I, I get that. I get that, but no. What hit you? If it's not Maine, then you didn't get it right. It's in that area. It's in that area. What is it? The state. You talking about your question or my question? The question. No, I don't want to talk about It's in the Florida area. No. Oh. Wait. Oh, Maine. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to talk about the question. It's in the Maine area. Turns out it's actually near there. I don't know. Maybe New York. It's still not the same area. But Rhode New, York, Island. New York is wrong. Rhode Island. Nope. Still in the area. Massachusetts. Still in the area. Yeah. Illinois. Still in the area. Illinois is not there. <laughs> Louisville. Lewis. Whatever that's called. Louis. King Louis. Well, he was named off of. Louisiana? Louisiana. No. You're even further south now. Louisiana sunshine telling lies. Look at him. Oh, I gave you the wrong question. What the frick? I was re I gave you the ge geography question. You done done me your geography so questions. What is it? Okay. Making me think. What was it? 
Uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I believe. All right, so here's the sports question. Great. What ballpark was built in 1919 at the cost of 650000 well, That doesn't make sense to be a sport. Have you been giving me geography this whole time? No. Just this last last one I just did. That makes it more sense. <gasps> Are you in that one too? No, or this that? one here. This one here. So this one, not last one. This oh, one here is the, the one I just asked you was a sports related one. Screw that. Pennsylvania. Okay, ball ballpark park. was built in 1919 at the cost of 650000 Dang. My bar seemed like nothing but me. Harriet Tubman's ballpark. Dang, Mike. Dang, Mike. Harriet Tubman's ballpark. That's your answer, Harriet Tubman's ballpark. Yeah. If she played there, then it's rock. I can use it to hit people like. Which state official's flower is a orange blossom? Oh, that's Florida. Both of mine, and now I'm on geography. Oh, lovely. Are you for real? Geography <laughs> or history? Sports! Who defeated German boxer Max Schimmeling in the first round of their 1938 rematch? Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Good guess, but no. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Which state is home to the White Sands National Monument? White Sands name? National Monument? Uh, North Carolina? Told you it was a state. Mm. You're lucky. In 1986, and once again in 1996, okay, finally. what pitcher tossed 20 strikeouts in one game while playing for the Boston Red Sox? What pitcher? What pitcher? Tossed. A hundred? What pitcher tossed a hundred? No, tossed twenty. Tossed twenty. Strikeouts. In one, game, in one game while playing for the Boston Red Sox. Ooh, what pitcher? What pitcher? Oh, pitcher. Pitcher. I don't know where that guy's name. Harriet Tubman. I don't know. I might know one person from that. Well, you know what I'm Yeah. All those questions. The, the question you may not understand, but when you look at the answer for them, you're like, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, they, they, they don't give you. That's a vague question for the person they're asking for. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, if I look at the name, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. You would know who they are based when you look at them, but as far as, like, Hearing the question, it's you're gonna be like, what? You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna know unless you like know exactly. Like if you're an aficionado of that particular aficionado, yeah, like right. super smart Ge uh, geography. Well, Disney film included the songs "Chim Chim Cherry" and "Super Catch Fire Guys" because I know she is. In geography, mm -hmm. you don't know it. Exactly, you don't know. Sleeping Bear Dunes National Park is located along the shores of which Great Lake? Great Lake? Shores of Great Lake? That's going to be near Michigan. So. Or Minnesota. That doesn't help me none. Uh, lake. Lake Michigan? So, how do you know that but not Supercast Valley Ice Bad Doshas? Look at it. Just guess that. Because there's like, there's like Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, like Huron. Just guess that one of the lakes up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, there you go. Sports. We're going to seriously go through this whole deck. What? Am I going to get it? You might. Yeah. What WWE saw. wrestler was named the sexiest man alive by People Magazine in 2016? 
John Cena, even though we've never seen him. See, I would get this one really easily because I know wrestling and necessarily what they are. It's not John Cena. Because we've never seen him. I don't know. Probably don't know. What if I don't know? Do I know? Do I know this guy? Yeah. So I do know this guy. Yes, you do. I feel like that was a hint right there. Does it have anything to do with cooking? Yeah. Mmm. Cooking. Mmm. Sniff. Smelling food. Which means cooking. Cooking. Oh, do you smell the rock is cooking? Dwayne Johnson? Dwayne Johnson. Cool. I'm down here. I'm, they, 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 I'm not going to get another <laughs> one. Oh, gosh. I still got history to go Lord through. From Dwayne Johnson. I'm by. Or, yeah, the Palmer. I've still got one question in geography left. Listen, I'm done. I'm not going to get another. There ain't no way I can get another sports question. Unless I get like a hint. I'll, I'll try to see if I can get you a hint on the next one. Give me one more geography. Is this it? Across the United States, there are numerous cities with the name Bowling Green. Which state's Bowling Green is the most populated? Most populated. Oh, you got geography. Most populated of Bowling Green? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why is too many? <laughs> the only one that I can think of right off the top of my head is Bowling Green, Kentucky. It is not the most populated place, so that's going to be out. Is it no? Uh. I could stick with it though. Just because that's the only one that I know of. I'll just stick with the Bowling Green, Kentucky. You know, that's average. It depends on how you like it. Is it no? no. What? Wow. Yeah. I don't know how I guessed that. Oh, no, no, don't count you out of it. Alright, uh, so you had sports. Mm-hmm. Where did the Los Angeles Lakers pr- play prior to moving to California? How was this nineteen nine? Okay. Lakers. So before they went to uh, L.A., they played in a city or a state. Um, I guess your clue would be. State starts with an M. I didn't even hear the question. So Michigan, Massachusetts, Maine. Where did the Los Angeles Lakers play prior to moving to California? So think about the Lakers. And Michigan. Think about where they came from. Put those together. Michigan Lakers, Massachusetts Lakers, Mississippi Lakers. Mississippi Mountain Come on, 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 it's not Maryland. Nope. Maryland. I'm from Maryland. Oh, I, can't, I don't know what their state starts with an M. Do I? Do I? Yeah. There's, there's, you have it named uh, um, a couple that start with an M that, uh, Maryland. that, uh, it should be named. It should be named. Well, if it's not I mean, I, it, I mean, their name, the, the their name now is called the Los Angeles Lakers. So there's no lake near Los Angeles. No, I didn't do that one. So, if they if they're called the Lakers, yeah. Okay. So that must that mm-hmm. must mean they came from a place that was known for their lakes, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, they started with an M. It starts with an M. Do you know 
the short games. Hmm. So there's one more left. And, and you know it's team. not Maryland. And you know it's not Massachusetts. And you know it's not Michigan. And you know it's not... So basically all the ones short games. Maine. Maine. Okay. That's all I want to Maine. And I know it's not what we go here. And I know it is. Um, Montana. It's not Montana. Montana. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing you bone after bone after bone. Oh, on this. Man, never M after M after M. I know. I'm trying to like... I'm trying to like lead you towards lead you towards the state that has lakes near it. The center of the morgue. In the map of it. Are you the animaniacs for these questions where they name off the things, the states? You know that song. You don't. Mm. Good talk. Maine, Michigan, Monroe, Maryland, Monrot. Monroe. Monroe, all right, so let's do go. Dang. Harriet Tubman stick. Second letter, Steve. I. Yeah, Mississippi. Nope. It's not Mississippi. Third letter. Give me, I like to buy a vowel. A vowel? Yeah. Look at that. There are actually two I's in the name. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Two I's. Okay, third letter. <laughs> and M. The third letter is an N. Men. <gasps> I like to solve a puzzle. What is it? Minnesota. It's not Minnesota. Come on, that's what I didn't say yet. Minnesota. It is Minnesota. Yay. Thank Minneapolis, you. Minnesota. Right, I'm done here. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> so... Um, American trivia. Longest trivia. That was a ever. pretty long trivia game. Clocking in at two hours and thirty-one minutes. Woo! Wow, sir. Long trivia game out there. That was a long one. I'm curious. Longest as trivia game as ever. to Let's see what, what do I have? I have history party. next. When we're not sitting through that. Yeah, Vanderbilt fortune initially began in what industry? Yeah, I would have never cast the shipping industry, uh -huh. so... And you wouldn't have got it within one, two, three, four... I mean, I could have. Six, I mean, there's seven. two there, so I could have Seven cards two left. We would have completed the whole deck right before we started. Yeah, let's see. What modern-day state was it inhabited by the Colsa Indians? Yeah. Even though that's the state that I was born in, I don't know what the Colsa Indians... Uh, I thought it was Indians, but I didn't know they were called the Coastal Indians. Okay. Uh, so I want something new today. I have Florida. So I want right, something new today. The Chocolate Mountains are located in what desert? Chocolate Mountains? Mm -hmm. Located in what desert? That's the Colorado. No, not Colorado. The, 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 the Mojave no. Desert? No. Mojave. What is Virginia's most important mineral resource? Coal? Well, we're supposed to be doing history, aren't we? Yeah. All right, who won Nobel Peace Prize in 1906 for his work in the ending Russo-Japanese War? That would be Chile. Okay, Nick. During the 1700s, what was the main industry of the Nantucket Island? Nantucket Island? Yeah. I... Nope. What, what duo explored the Pacific Northwest during the 1800s? Early 1800s. Duo? Yeah. Explored? 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with that? I'm thinking it was Bonnie and Clyde. And I know that's not right. One of the ones that got shot in the car? Yes. Is the movie? Charles Edgar. Hey, there's Edgar. Hey, I knew it was in there somewhere. Edgar was a pioneer establishment in what industry? Might have been books. Uh, Charles Edgar was in what industry? Henry Ford. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, Henry Ford. What's the news? Uh, How come he gets to be it but the, the, this guy doesn't? Car industry? I don't know. Uh, what? Who engaged Soviet leader Nikolai Kolkatov in a porn condition in kitchen debate in 1959? What? <laughs> kitchen debate. <laughs> who? Engage Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev in an improv kitchen debate in 1959. An improv kitchen debate in 1909? Yeah. I don't know that. It's impromptu. During, impromptu. Okay. During the Civil War. No, that's just like the, the word. During the Civil War, which side instituted a draft? The Union, the Confederacy, both, or neither? How's that? Last question. Uh, the draft was done by the Confederacy. How come both of them did it? They both did it. All right, see. Oh, they both did it. Dang it, that was in a movie too that I watched. What, they both went, hey, let's talk to me. No, they did a draft, which means they were drafting people to come into the war. Oh, to help them. To help them but, fight uh, the war. You didn't get two of those out of the last seven. I, well, if I would have would have thought about it on that last one, I would have wouldn't have got it, but it's okay. I mean, you won anyway, so. Because I made it. And blasted ahead. All right, so American Trivia. Yeah, I didn't rate it on the first look, but I'll give it, a, like, it should be a five, like, perfect quality because of the pencil and everything. I mean, everything like, was four, good, four, four, yeah. Four. Gameplay. The rubber band is strong, too. Yeah. That it came with. Gameplay so. three or four. Suck at it. Yeah. Um, the questions were a little harder than anticipated, but I can't say anything like real bad about it. I want to come back and just do pop culture out of it. We know? just need to work on our on our questions and answering and all that stuff. Yeah. So, if, so Tim just stick with like general or pop culture and just for fun, it you know <laughs> <laughs> would be fun. Um, be fun. Just do it for fun is what I mean. Yeah. That would be fun because that's normally the two main ones. The two main ones you would know general knowledge. Well, I don't you actually know because out of the general ones, freaking what's a antisipode or whatever. There is anything. a couple of them. That ain't yes. no general. What even is it? Was it a panda? What? That's what I guessed was a panda. The anquita? Yeah. No. It's not a panda. A whale. No. Well, something in the water. Did you put your cards back in here already? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the first thing I did when I got it. I was like, I don't know. No. No. Done here. Nothing in the water. Aww. Oh, lovely. American trivia. Now you know our uh, knowledge of Timothy. Uh, so I was like, well, that's going to be a problem for future episodes mm. of the 4th of July thing. But thanks for bringing this. That was, that was uh, fun, but torturous. That was fun, yet. Yes, you took a little right in my mouth. It was fun as far as the gameplay, but uh, the brain cells burning, no, not so much fun. Mm -hmm. Hit the uh, hay now. Hey but now. anyway, American Trivia, that was a, that was a good game. Um, to the completion. Yeah, so uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you're on Twitch, follow on Twitch, you underscore me a game, and you can chat, interact, and be featured in the YouTube videos, and you put on the viewer board and the leaderboard, which kind of scooted over here. Out of view, I guess. I don't know how that happened, but Washington's still in view, so be put on the view board. You know, shout out, see on the on, you know, you know how it is. It's actually a lantern back there. That's cool. No, oh, the lantern, yeah, the lantern, the red, white lantern. Mm-hmm. Red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Pretty cool. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of Four Days of July. Independence Day special, one day down, three to go. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Oh, Count yeah. down to the big boom in the sky. Fireworks yeah. galore. Three left. Right? Going down to the big town. Yeah. Three.
three days to go. No one thing left to do. No left to say. Don't get bored. Bye, ball game. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye, ball. Bye, bye. You can tell how tiring that is. I'm just like, play bye, ball bye. game. <laughs> play ball game. Bye, bye. Don't get bored. Seems like you're really tired. Play ball game. Don't get tired. Play ball game. <laughs> Have fun, y'all. See you in the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye. Have fun on July. Thanks for joining back, people on Twitch. I thought I thought we would get some more next since we have, it's been a little bit since there's been a stream. <sighs> I guess it was just like, oh, they're streaming again? Okay, cool. Swipe. I should have seen what it was before I clicked the live button. It was like the week before June. I missed a month. I mean, we're only supposed to be on a break for like two weeks, right? Longer or longer, sir. Why well, Obi Wan didn't kill Darth Vader in Kenobi Episode Six? Well, uh, you see here, he can't die. So, for reasons. Oh, why is that even a, like? Why is that even a, a news thing? It's like the reason why he can't kill Vader is because he's in the originals. <laughs> so therefore, he's in later in life. So you can't kill him. Sorry. We're done here. Thanks everybody on Twitch for coming back. Unless there is somebody on the raid. Shoot. Shoot. Shifted on me. What the heck is it doing that for? Look, I got it now. Don't sneeze. <laughs> what you do? I pumped it with my foot and the whole thing just decides to hold on. So sneezing will do something. Like don't move because you're just gonna slide. Slide down. Two and then slide. End. End. Just hit end. Okay. Yeah.